Amy. Hey. All right. Let me go ahead and see if I can. Sorry, elevate. I had you muted. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can help if I can elevate you to a um, moderator. Okay. Okay. You should be co-host. Excellent. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining me. All right, there you yeah. go. No problem. Glad to be here. I panicked though because I got out of the shower at eight forty-four, and I was like, I need five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny because I was like eating breakfast, and I got your text, and I was like, What now? <laughs> I run upstairs, and I was like, Oh no, no, no. okay. Wait, we've got 15 minutes? Okay, 30 minutes, good. really. Good. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. no, that was much better. <clears throat> who, can I, who can I bribe to make my tea and bring it to me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Also, the yard crew is here, and the dogs are going crazy, so that's going to be fun. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, feel free to mute anytime you need to. I do... Um, I do worry. <laughs> I have a train that comes very close to my house and uh, it will occasionally come by. <laughs> in, the, in a meeting? <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens. It happened uh, in the uh, accessibility meeting just the other day. That's I, was, I was actually talking and it like all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm like, there's just so many lovely layers about accessibility and the train that you could explore there. It's true. It's true. So, um, so does it, does it go by at night? Does it bother you? Are you used to it? It does go by at night. Um, and it does honk in the night. Um, and you know, it's not too bad. Sometimes it's more active than others. So sometimes I just don't notice it at all. And usually if I wake up, I go right back to sleep. So it's not a big deal. But... Yeah, when I, my, my dad lives in Dayton. And so we would sleep, you know, at his parents' house sometimes. And there was a train and that just, it, be, that being in that house, hearing the train, it just, it's so like the comforting sound. Like to me, it, it's the tracks. It's, it's comforting and it makes me it like takes me to a safe comforting place which is weird yeah. right yeah no that's I mean I can understand that there is a kind of um yeah there's like a kind of nostalgia about it kind of uh, I don't want to use the Adobe sign thing I'm sorry I have to sign this uh yeah go ahead invoice I got no but it's all right I can chat I mean so yeah I used to live in college we lived in a, uh, a house that had a train that went right by the back of it and that was definitely uh so you get used to it and you just kind of like it's just kind of a nice background sound you know yeah. um I do love the whole idea of trains I love trains in general we did that once we took a have you ever done the thing where you take the train trip from um or you like drive like the the passenger rail through the west like we went no. we took one from denver to san francisco that That's was really cool amazing. yeah so how long are you on the train i mean it was overnight mm -hmm. So it, it was probably 24 hours. It stopped a few times. Mm -hmm. There's um because it would stop like for stops to pick up passengers and drop people off. Like there's a few things, and some of those are a couple hours long. And so you could get off and come back. Yeah, you get off, you wander around. People have have cigarettes, and yeah, you know, then you <laughs> then you get back on. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty uh pretty interesting. It's a cool thing. I mean, and, and you can go to the dining car. Mm -hmm. um, we had a sleeper car. We had a, I was like when we were, when Abilene was a newborn, I think. Um, and so we had like a sleeper car 
which was which is tiny, but you can lay down the thing. And then um, where's the attachment? Oh yeah. Um, and then you can, but then you walk to the dining car. And then there's also an observation car where you, um, where they have like, it's like a glass ceiling and side, like a curved glass windows all above it. So. So you could watch. Oh yeah. And there were definitely places where you wanted to do that. That was really nice. Okay, got that submitted. Good deal. Where else are we? I was thinking of sending a message to my folks in the next session. Um, oh, let them know. Yeah, just say, you know, hey, uh, go ahead and start the thing. I'll be there. Um, I'll be there at 10 till. So I'm going to say, as Sweeney. Okay. Okay. All right, we're almost on, right? We are. And we've got 13 people in the waiting room, so that's, that's pretty good. That's perfect. Oh, there we are. Hold on. All ready. Okay. 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 My dude, the one of the guys is not. Um, let me let me just send this and then I'll get. Okay. No worries. You got thirty seconds. Yeah. I think let people um in the room if you need me to. Get me to let them in. Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome. Come on in. Give us a few seconds to let everybody join us, and we'll get started here. In just a minute. Good morning. Happy Friday. I know some of you are anxiously um, expecting spring break on Monday. So technically five o'clock today, we'll be starting our spring break at Houston Community College. So some, some out there may, I don't know, maybe you had your spring break this week. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna let everybody get in. A couple more people are still joining us. I'm going to see if I can turn the waiting room off. Doesn't, doesn't want to let me do that. I'm just going to sit here and admit people. <laughs> yeah. So Nathan, you want to start us off? Yeah, sure. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can turn on to do, do, do the, if there's live captioning, with, no, not live captioning, but um, auto captioning. And I'm not seeing it. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, I should have checked that before. Um, all right, thanks y'all for joining us. So this networking session, I hope y'all um, get to know each other. This is uh, really a, uh, a chance for folks who are kind of new to OER to get to know one another and ask questions of um, each other in the session of me and um, and Amy and 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 then um, and then what one of the things we're going to do at as the session uh, at towards the end of the session was we're, we're going to build a resource document 
we've already started. We've got a Google Doc that we're working on, and we'll share that link with you. And, and that basically is going to give you kind of a list of things you can do to get to know more and connect with the OER community. So I um, so hope this is useful to you. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to go into uh, some breakout rooms, I think. Are we? Well, we're, yeah. So let's see if we can um, go ahead and do uh, some breakout rooms. We've got, let's see, 30, a little over 30 folks. So I think I'm going to do like, we think five breakout rooms. Amy, seems good. Are we there about six folks? And we're just going to do this for about four or five minutes, you know, just just so you get a chance to say hello, meet some people, you know, um, and uh, clear your throat and then uh, come back and we'll uh, we'll chat some more. OK, so I'm creating the breakout room so you might get a message to join a breakout room. Just go ahead and do that. But any time you want to come back into the main room, you're welcome to do that as well. OK, we'll see you in about five minutes. I'm going to stay here, Nathan, so I can educate as many people. Me too. I don't see there. You, and sometimes there's a function where you can just turn the waiting room off. It's OK. All right, let's see here. And there's a couple of folks that are here that just got in. I'm going to start throwing them into breakout rooms that have fewer. Hi, everyone. If you're just joining us, we're going to do breakout rooms just to introduce yourselves in a small group. And then we'll come back together and talk some. Cool. All right. So what did we say? Five minutes? And that was like? 9.32. I didn't put a timer on the breakout room. I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to do okay. this. Uh, well, at nine, maybe nine thirty-nine. Yeah, I just set a little timer on my watch. We'll see. Ken, I'm going to go ahead and sign you to a breakout room. Feel free to move when you are ready. Hello, Smita. Nice to see you. I'm going to throw you in a breakout room. If you haven't joined the breakout room, please feel free to do that. Um, we're just uh, introducing ourselves to each other. So we're just introducing ourselves right now in breakout room. So I'm going to be assigning you to a breakout room. Feel free to come back into the main room if you want. Should we, uh, should we allow the folks who are here? Um, there's looks like there's a few people who are in this room that uh, didn't join. Would you like to, Alma, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? If you can, if you can get to that, if you want to type in the chat, you can do that too. No pressure. Sandra, Padilla, where are you Welcome. from? What do you, what do you do? Samir, we're just putting people in breakout rooms. So if you want to join the breakout room and then um, and then get and just introduce yourself to folks, that would be great. Sure. Good morning, Christy. 
We are just introducing ourselves in breakout rooms. I can move you to a breakout room if you'd like, or you can hang out here for a little bit. We've got about two minutes left in the breakout rooms. Maybe I'll just, you can hang out here. Why don't you introduce yourself in the chat though? Good morning, Julie. Uh, we are in breakout rooms at the moment, just introducing ourselves. So if you wanna in introduce yourself in the chat or unmute yourself and say hi, let us know where you're from. We'd like to hear, thanks. Good morning, Kristen. Uh, we are in breakout rooms right now. Um, we are introducing ourselves. So if you wanna introduce yourself in the chat or, um, you know, or let us know who you are, that'd be great. Hi, I just joined. My name's Kristen Bingham. I'm from South Plains College in Levelian, Texas. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, I missed the first part of what you were saying. So I was trying to figure out if you're um, we're or not. Most people are in breakout rooms right now. So we're like in cool. small groups, but it's just a minute or so left in the cool. breakout room. So um, feel free to just hang out for a second and then we'll get yeah. started. Cool. Well, nice to meet you guys. Nice to see y'all. Excellent. Welcome. Is it warm or did you already get the cool front, Kristen? Because it's we're really warm and humid in, in Houston today. It is perfectly humid outside. I've been outside working in our garden space that's being renovated, actually. So it is humid, um, which is an abnormality for this part of the world. But it's overcast and it's a great spring day, which we only get like two weeks of spring in this part of Texas. So we've got to enjoy all of them. That's right. That's right. <laughs> See, Nancy or Cindy, hey. do you want to say hello? Sure, hi. Um, I'm here in Brownsville from TSC. Um, I'm, I'm not quite a beginner, but I know I always learn something when I um, hear other people discuss this. So um, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having this. Thanks for coming, Nancy. I feel the same way that you do. I, I feel like, well, I'll never stop being a beginner. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and things change so much, you know? Um, and it just seems like I always find somebody who's an expert in something really cool that I want to learn more about. And... Exactly. Okay, I'm going to be closing down the breakout rooms here. So uh, I think I'm going to close. Okay, gives them 60 seconds. Hopefully they will, so they'll come back. Um, I'll give folks a little time. Hopefully you all got to meet someone else that is, uh, that is new to you and new to maybe OER. So welcome back, welcome back. Um, hopefully you all got to meet some people. That's really the purpose of these networking sessions is to kind of get to know folks. Um, you know, take down email contacts if you get a chance to, or just uh, make make sure to reach out to somebody in the chat function in the um, in the conference feed, and um, you know, the, and just build connections. I think that's the way we uh, learn and and move forward in our OER work. Definitely, and I have to say, one of the things that I really appreciate about being virtual is that everybody's name is on their window. <laughs> so that is so helpful. Um, I, I absolutely appreciate that function. So, okay, looks like uh, we've got a lot of people back in the room. Awesome. Um, we probably should introduce ourselves, Nathan. Go for it, yes, please. So I'm Amy Tan, I'm from Houston Community College and I'm the Dean for English and Communications there. And um, I think I first discovered um, OER, well, I first started working with OER probably more than a decade ago, but my first open ed conference um, was six or seven years ago now. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I still, um, we were talking a minute ago, I still kind of feel like a newbie. I still feel like there's things I don't know and I always have things to learn. So um, it's wonderful to see all of you here. And uh, Nathan, I'll pass it to you. Yeah, my name is Nathan Smith. I am um, 
the OER coordinator at Houston Community College and also a, um, a full-time philosophy professor. So my position is an administrative release to kind of manage our Z degree program and OER program. I, like Amy, we, we talked about open and free resources probably, you know, 10 years ago when we were working on Instructional Materials Council stuff. And, <clears throat> and then, yeah, we went to open ed in 2016, I wanna say in Richmond, Virginia. And that was just a huge eye opener to see how many different play things are going on in open ed, the size of the community, the kind of enthusiasm around it. And so, and that's just grown since then. Um, and, and so I'm really glad to bring these sort of things to Texas and see the huge enthusiasm around OER here. So we kind of thought we'd, we definitely want to open up for just general questions uh, to folks, but we thought as we were thinking about, you know, what that would look like, one of the things we realized was that a lot of questions might end up being kind of just, how do I learn more or how do I find this or how do I find that? So we started creating a Google Doc um, that we will share with you all in a moment um, to, to kind of with links and, and guidelines about sort of things you can do to get engaged in the OER community. So, but first of all, if, does anybody have a question? Are you new to OER? You, did you, you attending sessions and stuff and just thought, I don't understand this or what are the people talking about when they say this and, and just uh, feel free to ask, throw it in the chat or unmute yourself. And also, you know, like in any other session, there's no silly questions, right? <laughs> Somebody else might be asking, you know, wanting to know the same thing and afraid to ask it. Um, I know when we get into these spaces, there's lots of acronyms. And so if there's just something that you just need demystified, we're here for you. And, and if we don't know the answer, maybe somebody else in the group does. Sandra says ah. she is wondering how to begin. <laughs> what do you do, Sandra? Are you an instructor? Do you, are you libra libraries, administration? it's different for different folks. I mean, as an instructor, my recommendation would be go on some of the, get on some of the main sites that where you can find OER and look for stuff in your subject to see what's out there. Oh, sorry, Sandra. looks like you got some feedback there. Feel free to, ch to write in the chat if you need to. So, um, so I think, yeah, Sandra, see if you can tell us in the chat and we can try to be more specific toward your role. Um, I think for me, when, when I was just starting out, I mean, I just, it was really about connections, right? It was like about finding someone, um, you know, at my institution, but not necessarily at my institution, right? Who, who knew, who knew something about it and we could sort of explore together. And I think some of the sites that Nathan and I, um, have already um, put on the Google Doc will be really helpful. Like um, if you're at a community college, um, CCOER is a fantastic resource and you'll find so many wonderful people who um, will be just thrilled to, to connect with you and to help you. Um, and I've, I've seen some questions in the chat about like how to author OER. That's a great question. There's some good, um, one thing, one thing I would turn you to is, Ruth, is, is to Google BC Campus. Um, there's a um, toolkit for authors, OER authors, that is really, uh, it's a press books, um, like a, um, it's a short book that, that is good information about how to become, how to be an OER author. Uh, that's really, really helpful. Someone's asking about Z courses. Um, Typically, you know, people designate their OER courses in different ways, sometimes by cost, sometimes by OER. So Z courses are typically a zero textbook cost course or ZTC sometimes they're called. So, um, you know, that's just a way of, of identifying courses for students. Let me go ahead and share, I don't, uh, okay. I've shared the link to our Google doc in the chat. You should be able to access it. Um, 
Amy, would it be possible for you to share your screen just in case if I, so when I sure. have to step away, I will uh, not lose the sharing thing. Yes. So what we did in this Google Doc um, is just put some things with uh, links out to some resources for you um, and it, divided it into, oops, sorry, you're right. We divided <laughs> into a couple of different categories. So there are Texas sites, there's searches, the, some of the better like meta searches for OER, organizations you might want to get connected with, conferences, and then Twitter is a pretty active place for OER educators. Um, and so if you're on Twitter or you're interested in following folks on Twitter, we put a list of people you should, if you are on Twitter, please drop your, um, your tag there and um, excellent. So that looks good. And then, and maybe, you know, that's another good way to get connected with people. Um, let's see here. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to say um, when I, that was one of the things Nathan and I were sort of talking about this, like um, social media, however you feel about it. I, you know, I never really used Twitter unless I was at a conference. Like that was literally the only time I had a Twitter account so I could connect with people at conferences. And, um, but it's, it's how I, you know, I stay connected to people in the OER world. And, um, you know, there's a lot of really active um, advocates out there and they're always happy to, to have questions and to support you and it's just such a wonderful community the the open ed community um, and I, I know the questions in the chat we had some people asking about um, where to look for OER and so Nathan organized that here and also um, I saw we have a couple librarians and I just want to say um, librarians are the role that librarians play in curating OER and supporting faculty and finding and um, you know supporting quality OER, um, we we can't do it without our librarians. So you're 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 vital to this work. Someone was asking about um, reading and writing text and mentioning about how the Loud Cloud uh, textbook that they were using had a lot of errors. One of the things, I'm gonna throw this actually in the document. And by the way, this document is editable by anyone here. So if you know of resources that we missed or you wanna to add to it, let's make this a working document that we can all work off of. So there's this wonderful um, group called the Open Textbook Network out of the University of Minnesota. And they uh, have something called the Open Textbook Library, which is just really nice because it has a um, they have reviews from other faculty members that are that they do on the site, um, and they have composition, right? Reading, writing is like one of the very well covered areas. So if you are frustrated with a particular text, just go find another one. It's just like any textbook, you know. Um, search for the one that fits you best. And then the wonderful thing about OER is you can remix and revise and 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 put these things together. If one text doesn't suit every, all of your needs combine two, one, two of them. Can I, I want to jump in too, because I actually am an English major and taught English for many years and I still get to teach a class every now and then. And one of the things that I do in my, when I design, like, especially if it's an um, online class in an LMS or I have an OER that I'm, that has issues like that, I will tell the students, I will actually give them extra credit if they can um, correct it or show me things that they think need to be corrected, if they can bring it to my attention. And so that way they're co-creating, they're doing the work for me. And then, you know, I, I get to have that editorial control to say, yes, that's actually, um, you know, needs to be corrected or no, that's actually right. And let me tell you why. So um, that's one of, one of the little um, strategies that I employ when I'm, when I have an OER that isn't quite up to the standards that I'd like. And I'll say um, for me, because I teach composition, um, I, I still use the online writing lab at Purdue. Like that's basically my handbook. And um, then I just pull open access articles and, and texts. And that's what I've been using for my comp class. And so it's basically been um, textbook free or, or zero cost for, for quite a few years. 
So I, I think in English, we're pretty lucky. But there are some, there are some wonderful um, resources out there and Pan Open has some, Lumen Learning has some. Yeah, um, David Ryden asked in the chat about uh, remixing a platform for remixing. This is like, if I had a magic wand, like this is the thing I would create for OER is like a universal free platform for people to remix on. There isn't really a standard. Uh, a lot of people use Pressbooks, which is um, a, a, a pay service. You, you, you buy a subscription. Um, you can use it for free, but it's really limited and it contains a watermark when you produce the final copy. Um, there's also LibreText, which is, which is pretty, pretty great. It's totally free. You can create an account. I, their remixing tools, are, like I feel like the software is a little more clunky. Pressbooks runs off of WordPress and WordPress is super easy to use. Um, so um, yeah, this is, it's, that's definitely something that would, is interesting. Somebody else was asking about webinars and workshops about setting up an affordable learning program. I think the conferences links is a great place to start. Some of those organizations I would link to and then look around this conference yesterday, there was a session from UT system on that. So that was really good. Um, Nathan, can I jump in real quick um, on the questions about remixing and about being able to modify things? So in OER Texas, we have open author and that actually allows you to do a lot of those things, especially if you're a beginner. It keeps you in kind of the, the confines and, and some boundaries so that you don't go completely um, haywire when you're trying to mess with things. But open author within OER Texas actually allows you a lot of liberties to remix content. Thank you, Michelle. I'm, I'm glad you pointed that out. I, um, that is definitely um, great. And, and, you know, and that builds off the it, IS, the ISKME platform, right? So y'all are using, so, and you can pull modules from different things and build your own. So it is pretty us useful for remixing. I am gonna have to jump away, Amy, okay. um, to my next and thing, so. And what time do we, are we, are we cutting off? Y'all have about end? five more minutes or so. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks so much. Bye, so, so there's so many answers in the chat that um, I'm, I may not be able to answer all of them. So what I did is I put my email address and I put Nathan's email address. And so you can feel free to email both of us or one of us, and we will try to get you an answer. Um, so I wrote down a couple of things. Um, there, there are some great ways to start investigating affordable um, OER, and I think on this slide, this is a good place to where to search for OER. You've got OER Commons is a fantastic starting place. Of course, our open, our open Texas library is a wonderful resource. Um, and so, so if you just look through some of these sources, some of these sites and these sources, I think that's a great place to start. Somebody else was asking about ancillary materials. Um, Diane, it really depends on, on your area. Um, and I know that there's a lot of people out there who are invested in like um, creating like open math. Is it open math? Does anybody know? There, there's a, I think it's open math. So, so there, are, there are particular areas where faculty are, are really interested in, in having those ancillary materials and people have started to build that. Um, I think Canvas, if you have Canvas, Canvas is our LMS. Um, some people will share their whole courses and, and you can borrow things from there. Um, so I think just just keep looking through these areas. And then also I think as you know, Ruth Dunn was talking about how she wants to author some things. Um, one of the things that we try to do and and at HCC is when when we're authoring or when we're, we're building resources, we try to put them in a, in a sharing site so that so that at least everybody at HCC has access to it. And so if, if there's a way for you to get a group together that can start building those things, um, then you know, I think that really encourages that community and that cooperative um, uh, authorship, right? And, and so that, that sort of takes the burden off of one person. Um, but but you're, you're gonna find a lot of these conversations happening definitely on, on Twitter. Um, let's see. Yes, the UT system report and open author and OER Texas. Michelle posted that for us. Thank you. Um, any, I know we have like, we have like two minutes left. 
Um, communication studies. You know, Diane, I think communication studies is just coming to OER. I think that's it's a wonderful area for people to start working. Um, and, you know, there's, there's beginning to be some stuff out there. And so I think if you have communication faculty who are interested in putting together materials that, that there's, def there's definitely um, people willing to work on that with you. Also make sure to try to get some time to attend the State of OER in Texas panel today. You're gonna to get another document full of resources from the Texas Digital Library, Digitex, and the Coordinating Board. So make sure to try to get to that one. I'm definitely gonna be there. Thank you. Yep, so I know you probably, a lot of people wanna to run to their next session. Diane, feel free to email me because I actually have communication studies under me and I'd be happy to connect you with some, some people in my, um, at, at HCC. And also, I think our librarians um, at HCC have just been wonderful. They'll make library guides for us. And, um, you know, that, that's also a way to sort of create that space where you, your faculty can share the resources that they're finding. Uh, just fantastic. All right, well, I know we have two minutes and I, I feel like always it goes by too fast and I really appreciate all of you joining us today. And um, again, feel free to reach out to us. Um, there's the, like I said, if you find somebody who's doing some really great work, just um, don't be afraid to reach out to them. This community is all about sharing, right? Education is sharing. So that, that's our, our motto and open ed, and open pedagogy and open designing open educational resources. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope I didn't miss any questions in the chat. <laughs> um, Please feel free to say hello if you see me again later. And uh, take care. Happy spring break. I hope you're all going to get to have a spring break. No? Oh, Diane, that's unfair. <laughs> hey, Ruth, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Right, I guess I'm going to stop sharing my screen. All right, I'm going to close the room, y'all. Have a good day.